Hello everyone, Marek Mulajic here and in this time we're going to have a look at a Premiere tutorial and this time in this Premiere tutorial we're going to have a look at a quick way you can create a magnifying effect on your videos or images where you can magnify a part of the clip in your timeline. I've got this clip in here, this uh, clip of the books and I've also imported this image of the magnifying glass. But first, what we're going to do here is we'll just make a new sequence from the clip, which I have already. Then we'll go to the effects panel and under video effects and uh, distort, we have magnify. So we're going to apply magnify effect to our clip on the timeline, which is going to magnify a part of the clip. Normally, when you apply magnifying effect, it's applying right in the center of your clip, right here. Okay. Yeah, let's zoom in a bit closer so you can see better. It's right there. Okay. So, if we go to Effect Controls panel to customize it, that's the magnify effect. You can change the shape as well. You can make it into a square, not a circle. Okay. You can also change magnification. Maybe I'll double it. Let's say maybe 200 maybe even 300. I know there might be some loss of quality, but let's say if we go for 300. We can also change the size, so we can make it bigger. Maybe I'll double it. So we've got a bigger circle here. Here we go. And of course, we can also move it. Okay, so let's just zoom out first and let's make this bigger. Here we go. So how about we make it start maybe on the left, even off the screen. So we can move the center all the way of maybe of the screen even so we need some negative value here how much let's see let's say about minus 100 pixels and i'll keyframe it okay then we'll move our cti or our playhead <laughs> to the end of the clip in here and how about we move it across the screen and then make it disappear maybe so get something like this if it's too quick, we'll just make this clip longer and we'll move the keyframe further towards the end to make it a bit slower. Or we can make it stop somewhere. Let's say if I move this keyframe maybe there and go to the keyframe, we could actually move it maybe back on the screen. Maybe, what shall we stop at? Maybe these orange ones. There, here we go. So we have something like this. <clears throat> Moving across and stopping. Okay. We do have a feather here as well, so we could feather the edges to make it softer, but I'm going to leave it for now because I'm also going to, or we can also apply blend mode as well, because I'm going to add the image of the magnifying glass into here and then we'll make it follow. So drop it in, yeah, in here. The magnifying glass. Oh, this needs to be as long as the other clip. Okay. Now the magnifying glass will need to start at the same place. So I'm going to... Let's say I'm going to start from the end. So if I go back to the keyframe on this clip, the last keyframe, second keyframe, then I move the magnifying glass to where it's supposed to be. So here, make it a bit bigger because it's a bit too small. So maybe something like this. And we'll keyframe it backwards. We keyframe the movement, right? So we're going to add a keyframe to position property for the magnifying glass. Okay, so we've got the magnifying glass and this clip underneath as well. Okay. And then we'll go back to the start. Now this is a tricky part because uh, the magnifying effect actually starts off the screen. But we do need to move it in a straight line. Oh, it starts here. There we go. So then we can move the magnifying glass horizontally. So it's right there, I think. Whoa, we'll see. Okay. There we go. And we get something like this. Now, of course, we can edit this image of the magnifying glass in Photoshop and remove this light reflection. I actually quite like this light reflection here. So it's quite a cool effect where you can magnify. 
we can even make this magnifying glass appear. So let's say here, we'll add a keyframe to opacity as well. We'll make it 100. And then one frame earlier, we'll make it zero. So it's not visible at the beginning. And it appears, and it's moving, following the magnifying effect. Like this. You can obviously make the magnifying glass and the magnifying effect move anywhere around the screen <laughs> because we keep framing it. Okay, so here's a quick uh, tutorial on creating magnifying effect inside Premiere, so we don't need After Effects for that. And you just need a magnifying glass image, which you can easily get from one of the stock websites. And you can apply the magnify effect from video effects and distort category. And when you apply magnifying effect, you can customize so many of its properties. Just go back here to magnify effect. We can customize it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, let me know in the comments uh, below. And click subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And hopefully you see you soon on another video. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mulacic uh, from marekmulacic.com and saitrain.co.uk. And thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.